Hey there guys, today we're going to create a new item. Uh, it will start with us uh, setting the new item into the database. Later on, we will get this new item from the database and insert it into item.dbc. And then we will use this item.dbc file to make a new patch to make this entire item compatible with basically any client. The new patch will not be very heavy. It will include only a single dbc file which will be item.dbc and the new database will not change even one bit except for this one single uh, new item and a new table which we will create. So let's start with getting the program to make this new item. The program is called item creator and uh, I do need to note one thing in advance. What I need to note is the fact that I am not the original owner or the creator of this tool. It has been created by not coffee 418 and I would love to sponsor this guy and I would like you guys to consider uh, giving him a donation as well for his, uh, his amazing tools that makes our lives so much easier on creating uh, new items. And well, we only use the single aspect out of it. But you will see that it has its usage in uh, in other fields as well, which are not entirely items or weapons related only. So this is the first thing I need to let you guys know. The second thing is because I use a uh, VPS, it's a machine I rent and pay for every month. Uh, the fact that I can install things through somewhere called server manager, which you see me use in a few seconds. Um, and I can install things Windows related through this one. If you guys don't use it as a, if you guys don't use Windows Server, you will need to download the uh, Net Framework yourselves. That means you can download 4.7, 4.8, 4. whatever there is, uh, manually, and you will be able to do that on your local machine. And you will be able to export the SQL files into the server, even if you're you you're not using Windows Server. So do keep that in mind. Add role and feature. Uh, gonna go into server selection to unlock these two. Then I'm gonna go into features and I'm gonna make sure that I have uh, a net framework 4.7. The reason we need that is because this new, this new uh, software will require us to use that. So as you can see, I have a tick mark, a check mark over here, which means it's installed. It also says so. If it doesn't for you guys, you can check it and then you will have the option to do next and you will be able to install it as soon as you do that. It's a very straightforward uh, process. Uh, feel free to do it yourselves whenever you're convenient with doing that. So let's assume we have it installed. Now let's go into our browser and insert this, uh, this URL which obviously I will uh, include in the description. And in order to download it, we will go into releases. Now, please know that this one, uh, the current version 1.1.4 uh, 1 includes uh, Net Framework 4.8. You can install it if you want and you can use the latest version. I don't want to overcomplicate it because it's not built in. I'm just going to use the default version. So I'm going to go down into uh, 0.3. going to install it. Going to click on the uh, Trinity Creator installer.msi and I'm just going to install it as usual. It's a uh, hit next sort of installation. So I know I wish to run it. Going to hit next. Like I said, hit next. You can change it to whatever location you want. Hit next, hit next. let's go hit close and we have this new trinity creator right there all right let's uh we don't want to do that we're skip this version so let's go into this uh we are using trinity core we will use the latest one that there is which is this one 2020 I'm sure it hasn't been updated just because uh, it's it's still compatible. And uh, you can clearly see that we have everything we need. 